In this tutorial, I'm going to be making this game that you see here. In further tutorials, I'm going to build on this game until it's fairly decent. Have fun! Now first of all, download and install the Games Factory 2 Newgrounds Edition Setup file. I'll do this right now. Once it's done, load up the Games Factory 2. Now, let's make the game. Go up to File, click New. Make this full screen. This shows all of the levels in your game. Currently, you only have one, and it's empty. Double click on it. This is your level, it's empty. Let's make some things. Right click on the screen and choose insert object. Choose active, that's all we need at the moment. Now, this one's going to be your character. So double click on it to get this screen up and then just draw it however you want. I'll be going into this in more detail in another tutorial. Click OK when you're happy. That's your character. Now we're going to make the enemy. Right click on the screen Insert object, active. Double click on it and make it red because clearly red things are evil. Now we're going to make a bullet. To do that, right click on the screen, insert object, active. Click on the level to make it, double click on it. We're going to make this yellow because bullets are yellow. There. Next we're going to make it so that your person can run around the screen. To do this, Select your person, and in this properties thing, click the movement tab. In the type, choose 8 directions. Now you can play the game whenever you want by pressing F7, or F8 for the entire game, but F7 for now. Now you can move your character around the screen using the arrow buttons. Next, let's, let's make the enemy run around the screen. To do this, Select the enemy, go to the movement tab, and choose bouncing ball movement. Play the game again. Oh, okay, we need to stop him from running off the side of the screen. To do this, we need to make our first bit of coding. And when I say coding, I mean this. Choose the event editor button at the top of the screen and make a new condition. To do this, right click, choose the enemy character, Position, test position of active 2, and tick all of the arrows that indicate that it's leaving the frame area. Once you've done that, click OK. Go across to where the enemy is in that event. Right click. Movement, bounce. Let's play the game again. Yes, we have a very intelligent enemy. Next, let's make it so that our character can fire bullets at the enemy. To do this, make another event. Right click on New Condition, choose this icon, the keyboard, upon pressing a key, spacebar. There are other ways of doing it, but this is simple enough. Go across to where your character is, right click, launch an object, because he wants to shoot the bullet. Choose the bullet, and that's fine. Let's play the game again. You can now fire out bullets, but it doesn't do anything when it hits the enemy. To make it so that it destroys the enemy, we need to make a third event. Right click on new condition, bullet, right click on that, collisions, another object, enemy, destroy the enemy, and the bullet. Let's try again. Yeah, you now have your first game. Well done. Let's just add some more enemies in so it's more fun. And delete the bullet because it's no longer needed on this frame since it's already spawned in the events. Ignore everything I just said. Press F7 to play the game. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Now, should you want to, you, sh you can now save the game by going up to File, Save As, and calling it something. 
If you want to make it into a format that can be uploaded to Newgrounds, which is the only thing you can do with the Games Factory 2 Newgrounds edition, go up to File, Build, Application, Save. You should now find the file wherever you saved it. You can upload that file to Newgrounds and everyone will play your game. But don't do it, it's really bad at the moment. Wait until the game's better, please. I hope this helps. Watch more tutorials to find out how to make this game into a much better one. Have fun.